All right, it's a pretty interesting problem. I'm going to calculate the force of buoyancy of the USS Ronald Reagan. Um, here's a poorly drawn um, diagram of the aircraft carrier. Uh, basically, what we're going to be concerned with is the water line, how much displacement the ship has, and the force of gravity um, is going to be from the uh, from the bottom of the hull that's underwater, and the force of buoyancy, uh, buoyancy is going to be uh, also pushed from the water up against the bottom of the hull of the boat. Uh, basically what we need for this is how much displacement this is right here, or how, or how much how much water is displaced. Um, so uh, the, 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 the displacement for the USS Ronald Reagan is about 98,235 metric tons. And to convert this to kilograms is a pretty simple calculation. Um, just straight um, just multiply by 1,000. Uh, it's just a simple unit conversion, and then we get 9.8235 times 10 to the seventh kilograms. And then we want to calculate the um, the force of mg or the force of gravity. Uh, so down here, um, this is also again pretty simple. Uh, just 9.8235 times 10 to the seventh times the 9.8 meters per second squared, and then that gives us 9.627 times 10 to the eighth newtons. It's a pretty strong force, but then again, this is an aircraft carrier, so yeah, we need to try to keep it afloat. Um, and again, um, and then using Newton's third law, the force of buoyan buoyancy, and again, these are vectors, but they're only in the y direction, just to keep things simple. Um, so the force of buoyancy would then be uh, 9.627 times 10 to the 8 Newtons, just as the force of gravity is, which is why we have um, this... Uh, zero acceleration in the um, in, in the y direction because the ship is just floating in, in the water um, but again this is uh, basically what keeps ships of this of any size afloat um, and I just really just wanted to calculate numbers just to see how monumental they were All right.